Hey everybody, welcome to Discussing Trek, and today we're just going to be opening up a few uh, packages I've received over the last few weeks as I've been sitting at home chilling during the current COVID epidemic, crisis, pandemic. Yeah, you get my drift. So first thing I got was some uh, officially licensed Star Trek t-shirts from Amazon, and these are definitely in the vein of classic TOS, and one day you'll figure out how to open them. Uh, so let's see what we got here. Oh, the detail that I really loved about these is the the black collar, which normally in these T-shirts, I don't know if I've noticed that or seen it. But yeah, that definitely gives it that TOS feel. Count me among the red shirts here. Where, and I think that looks pretty freaking cool. Once again, I love the detail of the uh, the black rim around the collar. I think that really sets it off. Yeah, I'm, I'm loving these guys. So we got those and I pre-ordered this several months back when I was looking for an actual um, Discovery Funko Pop. Uh, they had Saru and they actually had Michael Burnham. I just really love how the Saru one looked and let's uh, take a peek. Let's see what we got here. Okay, um, I like the detail, but it's not as good looking as I thought it was going to be. But hey, it's a Kelpie, and what do you expect? Um, yeah, so I mean, it works, but I may have expected it to look a little bit better than this. Not quite. I can't quite put my finger on what makes it look weird, besides being a big-headed figure. Um, but yeah, that's the Saru Funko Pop. And last on my list is something that I've been wanting to try out for quite a while and um, just never really built up the nerve to get it. And what I'm talking about is the Eagle Mouse uh, ship collection and in particular the Eagle Mouse Discovery ship collection which you see here. And uh, for an introductory offer of $9.95 you can get the USS Baron, which is the ship that our beloved Captain Lorca was in, our beloved Prime Lorca was in, when he got switched with that other Lorca from that other universe. Uh, sorry if you haven't seen season one of Discovery, but that's what happens. Um, yeah, a few cons right off the bat with the Eagle Moss product, and maybe it's less to do with their product itself and more with the service. So you go on the website, you sign up, but they don't really have a they don't have a well-built portal to actually see when your order is going to get there or see what your next ship is or uh, cancel your order. Uh, I, I didn't see any. I couldn't find. Correct me if I'm wrong. Put it in the comments. Correct me if I'm wrong. Tell me what I'm missing, because I don't think they have a good portal to actually manage your subscription. And I think you actually have to have to call in to cancel. So that's a huge con from the beginning with me when I signed up and I saw that you couldn't do that. Or at least I could not find out how to do it again. If you can let me know in the comments, I'll research some more. But I couldn't find out how to do that. So that was a huge con from the very beginning. Now, the the the, the plus or, or the pro to this is that I've seen some of these ships online and they look pretty freaking cool. So let's see what we got here in this book. Um, introducing the Star Trek Discovery Collection. And it actually shows all the ships that you can that you will get. <laughs> after your introductory offer of $9.95, it goes up to like $54.95 after that, which is kind of steep. So again, I don't know if I'm going to keep up with this, but I thought I should try it because I thought it looked pretty cool. And I thought, you know, for what I've seen of Eagle Moss, all these ships look pretty awesome. Let's go ahead and... Oh, sorry, Saru. Got here, of course, we have a little Eagle Moss Star Trek Discovery Official Starships Collection book, particularly for the USS Baron NCC 1422. That looks pretty freaking cool. And as we dig in a little deep, it gives details about the ship. Class Carnatus, Federation, 23rd century. Yeah, and it gives some backstory, which I won't actually get into. So let's go ahead and crack this open. And I will say right off the bat, heavier than I thought. But yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm liking what I'm seeing so far. Looks a lot cooler than I thought. I think the detail looks pretty fantastic. So that's it. Uh, this is just my Star Trek swag video. 
Yeah, what do you think? Are you getting any of this? Uh, what am I missing here? What's better that I'm missing? Leave questions or comments below and uh, we'll talk to you guys next time.